Welcome back to the anime news for the week ending September 27th, 2019. We got there. We got there. Starting with more news about Manga Mura. Imagine that. So the alleged administrator of Manga Mura um, is on his way back to Japan. That is Romi Hoshino, a.k.a. Zake Romi. It's the internet. You always get these, these titles back and forth. Um, has arrived in Ninoy Aquino International Airport. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. In uh, Manila. And he's being extradited back to Japan. He apparently ran um, Magamura, which was one of the big manga piracy sites. <gasps> yes. Oh, my goodness. Um, will arrive um, back in Japan uh, shortly. Um, th this was as of the 24th. So that was earlier this week, a couple of days ago. And he'll be arrested once he arrives in Japan. You know, Police Ooh. are waiting for him. Like this Ooh. is part of that process. Um, so what's interesting is he what, he he was taken into custody in the Philippines in July, and only mm. now is he actually making his way. So he's been sitting somewhere in mm -hmm. a cell, probably. Probably. <laughs> probably yep. not a comfortable spot. Mm, no. Um, but uh, yes. So that is the latest step in the saga of Mangamura, right. which has been under great. Um, uh, Police scrutiny, I guess what you call it. I suppose he's not going to be the only one involved in this. Uh, it takes a little bit of help from your friends to get yeah. something that big off the ground. Yes. <laughs> so we already have three other um, arrests. Uh, with Taro Adachi, uh, Kota Fujishika, Fujisaki, excuse me, mm -hmm. and Shiho Ito, um, who are apparently friends of Romi Hoshino. Um, and that's still ongoing. So we'll see where that goes. Who uh. knows? Yeah, kind of crazy. Um, moving on to uh, news of Naruto. We now have some more information about what's going on with the next uh, season of Naruto. The next arc in Boruto, Next Generation. Uh, Naruto Next Generations. Um, so the new arc that will premiere in October, so very soon, will feature Boruto and a young version of Naruto together. 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 And I gotta say, and let's, I mean... Let's be honest. You know, everyone's curious. Um, that looks like season one Naruto to me. You know, that's not um, uh, Naruto Shippuden, we, I, I don't think. Are we going back in time? I think we're going back in time. I think Whoa. Whoa. we are doing some kind of time jump or time travel thing with Naruto. Huh. And... I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna call it. I think what's happening is we had Naruto. We had Boruto. Now that we have Boruto, we're getting Naruto back so we can go back to Naruto again. We're coming full circle. We're coming full circle and a we're gonna loop. have and, a time you know, loop. <laughs> next year we're gonna have a new Naruto anime series, and that's gonna be the thing. Could he be his own grandfather? He could be. Who knows? <laughs> I mean, it's Naruto, right? You can do anything you want to. Um, so it's kind of kind of weird. Um, but very, very strange. Um, we don't know what's going on either. Um, it is, we do know it, this is commemorating the 20th anniversary of the Naruto manga. Ooh. 20 years? 20 of years. Naruto. Yes. Uh -huh. Has it been that long? It has been that long. There are people who haven't been around as long as they're... <laughs> what they're wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 20 years. You can legally drink and have been born after Naruto started. <laughs> Nuts. Wow. Um, so this new, uh, this will be a two-core um, arc, so two-season, you know, arc, half a year. Um, so it'll end in March of 2020. I'll walk through and the And then, arc. exactly. Um, <laughs> and then Naruto will be over forever, right? And they they could have stopped Naruto at that point, right? Because they can't nah, possibly, no, nah, no. Nah. We're going to have, we'll, 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 we'll have something. Where there's a cash flow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> Um, so uh, we'll we'll find out, um, but uh, yeah, who, who, who knows? And you know, hey, people love Naruto. I'm I'm not not taking it. So um, moving on to news, I think everyone's excited about this. Um, well, not everybody, but a lot of people. Um, a certain scientific railgun season three is coming, and it will be premiering January of 2020. Um, so basically, the uh, the winter season. Uh, no exact date yet. We know that Fripside will be doing the opening theme song, and uh, Kishida Kildan and the Akaboshi Rockets performing the ending theme song. Um, uh, this was originally uh, supposed to premiere this year, but it got pushed back a little bit. 
Um, Tatsu uh, Tatsuyuki Nagai is returning to direct at JC Staff, so that's okay, good. Okay. Um, with uh, Shogu Yasu Yasukawa in charge of series composition. He's not part of the, the franchise in general up to this point that I know of. Um, and uh, otherwise, all the other details um, up there. Obviously, same voice, ca voice cast returning in Japan. No big shock there, as far as I know. Of. <laughs> it would be if they <laughs> changed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there would be blood running in the streets. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. So, Railgun is coming back. We've, we've confirmed it. It'll be there just a little later than we all thought, which is pretty cool. Um, moving on to some news from uh, Gen Orobuchi. Kind of interesting. Um, whoops, that is the wrong image. I apologize, everybody. Um, that is that that is that is the, the saga of Tanya the Evil. Um, that's that's not it. So um, uh, again, Urobuchi um, um, is going to be doing a new CG anime called Obsolete. Hmm. Bit of an interesting term. Definitely CG obsolete. Well, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, subtle dig at CG. Who knows? Yeah. Um, definitely look like a sort of a hard military kind of a take. Yeah, I, I, I'm from just from the preview from what I've seen. It, it it looks like if you like Appleseed, this may be one that you want to see. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> slightly full metal panicky on on the, the mecha designs. Um, definitely a little bit more more grounded, more gritty. It'll be interesting to see how CG has come along. Definitely. Um, also remarkable because this will be a YouTube original. When do they start doing that? I know. For um, us? For anime? For... <laughs> kind of interesting. Hey. Um, that'll be on the uh, Bandai Namco Arts YouTube channel. Uh, it'll premiere in December, uh, which will be available first to pay members and then streaming free for other viewers later. Don't know when. Um, but that's pretty cool. So... Um, um, don't know um, uh, the, the, a bunch more um, stuff about it on the um, um, ANN obviously about and they call them the Exo, Exo Frames I thought Exo Squad had that nailed yeah, down I don't know it sounded familiar um, and so um, other information there there are aliens involved basically um, uh, big shock there I don't think they mentioned I don't see any notes here about the studio uh, ah um, Buemon is the CG animation studio doing it? Um, they worked on Girls Last Tour, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy the Animation, uh, Code Geass Akito the Exiled, Cross Ong, um, uh, Kuromokuro, and a couple other things here and there. Um, Tata Never Falls in Love, 3D Layout, um, Uza Made. So, not a lot of like really huge things, um, but sound interesting. Um, I'm always for more mecha. More and more. Yeah. Thing. Exactly. So. <laughs> No complaints there. Um, speaking of Mecca, we also have some more news on the 40th anniversary Gundam promo anime. 40th Yay, anniversary. 40th anniversary. Gundam. 1979 to 2019. So um, there was a little teaser image, which doesn't really show much. It's, it's, it's very much like a, um, just a, a few details with, with everything grayed out. Apparently what they're going to do is they're going to premiere a new promo which shows a redesigned version of the original RX-78. Um, so they got a designer and, um, let's see here, um, Ken Okuyama, who designed the Enzo Ferrari, um, mm -hmm. the uh, fourth generation Chevy Camaro, and the Ooh. E6 and E7 series Shinkansen, the bullet trains in Japan. Wow. Yeah. Um, so he kind of uh, rethought the That is some design. serious design yeah. <laughs> engineering. So he went back and, and did, did a redesign, and uh, apparently they're going to do a, um, a promo around that. Um, wow. <laughs> and for context, um, um, every decade there's um, traditionally been a some kind of anime promo for the 10th, 20th, 30th anniversary. Makes sense. Um, so there was a one in 1989, which um, had a clip of, it's called All That Gundam, um, and it showed every Gundam mobile suit in animation to date. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, I've never seen that, which was pretty cool. That sounds awesome. Um, Katsuhiro Otomo of Akira. Animated one for the 20th anniversary called Gundam Mission to the Rise. I've actually seen that one. Um, it is a sort of a, um, Gundam's launching a space mission uh, a promo thing, which is really cool. Um, and then in 2019, they did a short called Ring of Gundam with uh, Tomino and Yoko Kano. Um, <laughs> Yoko Kano. Doing, I know. And it's, it's like 90 seconds long. It's this really short thing, but, but really, really cool. Um, and then uh, they did the Gundam Perfect Mission, um, which also showed all the major Gundam mobile suits and animation almost to date that year. So the hope is, in other words, that this is going to be a sort of a celebrational promo. It's not going to be necessarily plot. 
Um, it's going to be more here are a bunch of mobile suits. Here's some Signs, little something going on. Designs. Something to look at. Some some mm-hmm. concept thought provoking for. Yeah, exactly. We might see that mobile suit design in a gun plot at some point. Yeah. Just guessing. Oh, oh, oh. I know. <laughs> uh, so that might, might be what's going on. Also, should be um, pointed out that um, um, yeah, obviously because of this, the. Um, oh, in fact, they've already said it. Uh, they're going to be releasing a high grade of that. 144th scale. Yes. Uh, going to be G40, they're calling it. Industrial design version. Um, the How soon? Um, December? What is, uh, in December. In December. Yep, December. in December. So December of this so year. Looking forward um, soon. And the other thing is that um, Gundam uh, model kits came out the year after Gundam did. So next year will be the 40th anniversary of Gundam model kits. Oh, so wow. they're probably building up to that really, as well. I wonder if they'll have a special uh, edition just for that. Yeah, that might, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So we'll see. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's funny. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, John's mentioning Mal. Uh, we have Mal in the news as well. And we're not so, talking malware. We're talking no. about my anime list. Exactly. So High Dive has announced that um, they are partnering with my anime list. Now, High Dive is, the, um, is a streaming service provided by... Section 23, I think. Yeah, Section 23, uh, an anime licensor over in North America. Weren't they in Ghost in the Shell, Section 23? Yeah, <laughs> Section 9. Section 9. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they, um, they're they doing... I wonder if they have to be referenced somewhere. Um, the, um, anyway, so um, High Dive is going to show Mal um, um, rankings on High Dive. Really? So you'll just see... Um, How, how's that going to work? If, you, if, you, if you've ranked something, it'll... Show popularity so, percentage. So whatever is the, like the, the aggregate content or, or uh, content rating for an anime that will show up in its listing on High Dive. Oh wow, that's yeah, really cool. Yeah. So, I wonder how soon other folks like mm, Crunchyroll or <laughs> right. Uh, what's also interesting is that because High Dive doesn't have everything, they're a more curated service. They're looking for more. Um, I don't want to say high quality, but you know they can kind of pick and choose. So. Um, they're not getting you know twenty different anime and then putting them all on there because they really want to show the three or the four. Um, so the listings they're going to have are are almost certainly going to be have pretty high scores for for Mal. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so it's it's going to be a, a kind of nice synergy. Um, in addition, um, uh, my anime list is going to get an, an embedded high dive video player on the site, <coughs> and it will show cool. yeah, and it'll show some high dive programming on there. Um, High Dive is a subscription service, so much like Crunchyroll. Do you, do you have to? So, would you have to have a subscription then? I don't think so because with regular High Dive, I think you can see everything. Actually, I'm not sure how much you can see. Um, I think it's the same Crunchyroll model where um, everything's like a week delayed mm-hmm. if you're not not paying for it, um, and ads if you're not paying for it. Um, I, I have I've had a High Dive subscription for a while because it's a couple of bucks a month. It should it should be fun to see how this plays out. Like if you have both. Uh, the subscription and MAL and you want to uh, watch the latest mm-hmm. versus if you don't have the subscription and you want to watch it, they might time delay it. or. And it's really smart on, on High Dive's site because they're now taking one of the major um, you know, anime sites, one of the main places people go, yeah. and getting a lot of that traffic to, to watch High Dive stuff. Um, look out ANN. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, and look out Crunchyroll and Funimation because yeah, those, now that those can guys pull some... Have a, yeah, model that uh, is, may may influence the industry. Definitely. So hopefully they can get a little bit of the uh, of, of that. Um, moving on to news about the new Chitose International Anime Festival. Um, Where? This is at Chitose International Airport. So for all you anime frequent flyers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so uh, Chitose Airport, the new Chitose Airport International Anime Animation Festival. Is in its sixth year. So it's already taken off. <laughs> <laughs> it's soaring through the sky. <laughs> um, and so they will have uh, five films competing in their um, featured animation competition this year. It will include Ongaku, Our Sound, which is an anime film adaptation of a manga called Ongaku. It's about a group of young delinquents who t- decide to start a, um, uh, a band. Basically, <laughs> um, despite having never touched instruments before, because why not? That's, that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, the Clash! Hey, exactly. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> um, and the four other films are from other countries. So mm-hmm. Latvia, France, Chile, and Canada, uh, which is awesome. Wow, that's um, pretty cool. That's very diverse. Definitely. Um, and then they've got 
um, other categories, international competitions, so forth and so on, um, family, music, that kind of that, that kind of stuff. Um, interesting, no, no Japanese works in the student com uh, competition. It's kind of, kind of odd. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, the event has itself as the world's only airport festival. No flights cool. are fancy there. No. <laughs> um, 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 Atsuya Uki, who directed Senko Roll and character designed Digimon Adventure Try, uh, did the art for their poster, which is really cool. Um, very colorful and sky focused. So if you're going to be in uh, in or around Nuchitose Airport, November 1st through 4th, you might watch that. Get a um, ticket. Get a ticket, <laughs> exactly. Have fun. You have to go through screening. For that. <laughs> um, finally, the anime film Promare, uh, which premiered in um, uh, the States, uh, this was, I think, um, this week, um, ranked number three. Wow, the day that's it came impressive. Out, which, is, which is very impressive. That's quite a bit of support. It should be noted that was a Thursday. So, so you know, uh, for a Thursday, for a Thursday, that's awesome, impressive. Anytime, 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 animation does well at the box office, mm -hmm. I'm happy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so this is really cool. This is the latest film from Studio Trigger, um, of Darling the Franks, and um, um, oh gosh, I'm forgetting all the names now. Um, <laughs> Uh, but you know, lots of other uh, uh, Gurren Lagann and so forth. Um, uh, opened in 200 theaters in Japan um, um, earlier this year and ranked number eight in Japan. Wow. Number three over here. So that's yeah, Wow, that's an inversion. Exactly. <laughs> um, um, so uh, for context, it earned about $11 million uh, U.S. in Japan. It's earned about half a million in uh, the, uh, the U.S. It, 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 I'm sorry, earned that in its uh, first day. And then uh, um, there were basically two screenings, Tuesday, Thursday, overall $722,000 over wow. two days. Hey. Not too bad. That is great. Not too bad. Um, it, did, it did rank at number 21 for the overall week. So, oh well, but uh, fine. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> Keep totally. Keep going. It's there. Show your support. <laughs> uh, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, G Kids also began screening the movie um, starting on Friday in select theaters. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's Flame pretty cool. wielding mutant. Beings. Yes, this is this is <laughs> a weird half one. Half the world with fire. <laughs> <laughs> Mad on. Burnish appears to fight off the uh, mutants. Um, yeah, Ain't it's Burnish. Yeah, it, it is <laughs> very much like a cheesy '70s anime concept. Um, as much as Trigger loves that kind of stuff, which is pretty awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, so that that's oh, pretty cool. I've not had a chance to watch the film. Um, I'm hoping it is as gonzo as it appears. <laughs> um, ironic, since we have an anime studio called Gonzo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that, that's pretty cool that uh, we, we have that in uh, anime doing well over here in America. That's good news. Cool news. Good news. So thank you all very much for watching. That's been the news for this week. Hope to see you next week. Have a good do, week. Do, 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 do.